One of the toughest parts of a playoff loss is having to wait until next year to get that next win. But the wait is over for Bemidji State football as they began the 2023 season tonight, coming in with their highest preseason rank in program history. The 11th ranked Beavers have spent the better part of fall camp downplaying all the accolades and polls, but under the lights at Chet Anderson Stadium, they finally had an opportunity to prove they deserve them. Bemidji State hosting Northern State for their traditional Thursday night season opener. The Chet was packed and rocking. Beeb's first drive, Sam McGath at QB a play, at a, for a play instead of Brandon Alt. Here's why they call his number. And he delivers on fourth and one. Kick was good. BSU leads seven nothing. Bemidji's next drive, handoff to Ali Muhammad. You could drive a Mack truck through that hole. No one's going to catch him. 57 yards to the house, and the Beavers lead it 14 nothing. Give some love to the O line. The Wolves trying to answer back after two straight three and outs. Anthony Vespo looking deep, finds DeWaylon Ingram behind the secondary. 59 of his 187 yards on the night. Missed the PAT, Northern State trails 14 to six. Ensuing kickoff, Devonta Roberts back to return. He finds a crease up the sideline. The way coach told him, knocked out at the 35 yard line, 53 yard return for Bemidji and it's gonna set up this next play. Alt with the play action, finds Dell Duncan Busby, 35 yard touchdown. Beavers have scored on their first three drives. It's only the first quarter. They're up 21 to six. Late in the second quarter now, Alt finds Duncan Busby again, this time from 15 yards out. Beavs missed the kick, but lead 27 to six. And little fans are happy. After Northern State safety, Bemidji's ball under two minutes in the half. Muhammad, he did it again. Man had 166 yards and two TDs on the night. And Bemidji State routes Northern State 49-13. They've beaten the Wolves in eight straight meetings, dating back to 2015. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.